Ladies and gentlemen, I am going to try to root the Amazon Fire TV with a root method made by the one and only GeoHot. So what we're going to do is we're going to ADB install this program to our um, <laughs> Fire TV. Uh, you go down to Settings, and then you go down to System, and then when you go to About, right here, you will see... Um, if you press down one time, you'll get to network, and you'll see your IP address. You need to type ADB connect, and then that IP address, and then press enter when you're in your platform tools. If you do not have the platform tools, open up a web browser and type in is.gd slash Android SDK. The A is capital, and so is the SDK. So now we're just trying to get ADB to talk to our Amazon Fire TV here. Also, if you go down to developer options, you'll see turn on to enable Android debugging. So this is where we're unable to connect. So we're going to go ahead and turn it off, turn it back on, and ADB devices, list of attached devices. So try to connect to the Fire TV one more time here. Okay, so it turns out I was typing the wrong IP address, so let me go ahead and that's why you need to go to the settings and make sure. So we're going to do this again. It says we are not connected to our Fire TV. So we're going to type in ADB, install, and then we got the towel root from our computer. We moved it from our downloads folder to our platform tools folder. So we're going to type um, TR and then tab to autocomplete the rest of it and then enter. And now it says it pushed over the root to our Fire TV. So now if we go to our apps, we should see a brand new app. Oh, you gotta go to settings, and then you gotta go to applications. Um, and then you gotta find out what your code is. Mine, I made it real simple. Just five ones, really simple. And then validating. And then now if we go down here, we should find one that says towel root. Now, I don't know if this is gonna work or if the application's even gonna load. This is my first time trying this. So we're gonna press on it, launch application and then make it rain. So we press the button, thank you. You should have root now, no root required. Okay, so also, now we're going to use the computer and we're gonna to go to SuperSU, Google it, click the uh, XDA link, and then we're gonna go down to the part that says download Clockwork My Recovery, whatever, whatever. So download the zip, and in that zip it's gonna be a very important file in the common folder so then we're going to take the super SU or the super user APK and we're going to move that over to our platform tools. So that's now done. We need to give it admin privileges. And then we're going to go ahead and do the ADB command again. Just ADB connect the IP address and then enter. And then ADB install super user APK. And after it ADB pushes it, success. Nice. So now if we go back, we should see there we go super SU. So now launch application. It says the binary needs to be updated. Continue. Uh, normal method. And success. And then no thanks. And there we go. That is awesome. Reauthentication, disable that. Now the really cool thing about this is I'm also going to go to titanium backup. Now you don't have the place to remember that. So we're going to go to uh, matrixrewriter.com slash android. And at the bottom, you'll see it is also available for download. That is an APK. So we're going to click show in folder when it's done downloading. And we're going to move that over to our platform tools as well. I just want to show you that our Fire TV is, in fact, rooted. So we're going to open the, we're going to paste the titanium backup latest APK in there. We're going to do ADB install titanium. And that should install to our Fire TV here. Success. All right. So now there should be a brand new app called Titanium Backup. Is that not cool or what? So we're going to press on that, launch application. And it's asking for root right, so let's go ahead and grant it. And, and, oh, look at that. That's cool. And now I have a mouse hooked up to my computer, so you'll see this little circle here. I'll hit OK. OK. And it says to prevent, go to applications and take unknown sources. Uh, we can't do that, but this is just a, um, you know, <laughs> like a way of showing. Now, also, the really cool thing is 
I have a license for titanium, so let's go to my documents, and in here I'll find titanium backup license. I'll take it, copy it to my platform tools. We'll open command window here again. We'll do ADB push titanium backup underscore license dot text. Oh, ADB push SD card and then titanium backup underscore license. No, 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 no. Okay, so I just need to take this and push the license over to my thing and I can have the pro version. But as you see, it's working. We have super issue. We have titanium backup. This is awesome. Fire TV rooted here first. YouTube.com slash WWJoshDEW. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please give this video a thumbs up. This is what would Josh do? And I'm out.